Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. And we're back with another Lego Harry Potter years five through seven video for you. We're getting really close to that final free play video. This one happens to be level 22, Fiend Fire Frenzy Free Play. Yep, we're gonna go for that true wizard requirement, which we're gonna nail. And uh, we also got uh, three character tokens ahead of us. We're gonna turn a frown upside down and save, save a local student in peril. And we're also gonna get those four house crest pieces to make that lovely house crest. So here we go, we're gonna choose Fiend Fire Frenzy. I hope I'm saying that right. I, I could be slaughtering that, but, uh, and of course we're gonna choose our character that uh, has a strong alternate form, uh, which the game does not consider a strong character. So it won't automatically choose him, so we're gonna go ahead and pick him. And look at that, we are off and running in the room of requirement. Now, you might have noticed the little tip down below to go ahead and use those quick links in the video description. If you are here simply for those collectibles, make sure you use those as they will make your visit much quicker and those collectibles much easier. Uh, you won't have to wait around and listen to me flap my yapper. So, meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Weasley box, which gave me a rocket, and the rocket went pow and dropped a fan down. And look at that, we're gonna go ahead and, hey buddy, why don't you cool off? And look at that, he dropped us an ice lolly. He's in the middle of the desert, and although we have uh, made it a little breezy for him, I think it's a little uh, ridiculous that he's got a, a blue ice lolly hanging out. I mean, where'd it come from anyways? I mean, he just happened to have it, so. Anyways, we've uh, also knocked down the table over there, as you saw, and busted open some stuff. We had to dig for our flower, but we got the flower power. We're gonna go ahead and slam dunk it in this cauldron that we found by knocking down the other cauldrons. And then, of course, the last item that we need is gonna be uh, up top. We need the old bag of tricks pad, so hop on the old pink base plate and check this out. It's a nice, the old uh, the dust buster. We're gonna go ahead and sweep away the, the dust, which reveals this red spider. I'm still not sure why the spider's red, uh, and I don't really want to know because I'm not a fan of spiders. So, Anyhow, we just so happen to be Hermione, and there happens to be a bookcase right here. So we're going to go ahead and get our bookcase hack on. And it's simply just a matter of matching the pattern. Once you get the correct pattern, it's going to go ahead and bleh, peek out some bricks. And look at that. We're going to build them up into a shield. And we've already switched characters into a dark magic character. We're using Grindelwald, as we showcased in our Preparing for Free Play video. And you might have noticed that there's a blue house crest piece notification down below there. And as we get that all set up for the next uh, part of the level here, we're going to go ahead and double back just a couple of steps. Just to the left of the bookcase, there is a black magic lock or dark magic whoa i don't know what black magic is but we're gonna use a dark magic lock and we're gonna reveal an aquamenti tank here it's kind of a weird shape we're gonna go ahead and fill it up it takes a little bit longer than normal that's all right though maybe it's my aim it'd be a funny angle but uh, look at that it's gonna get its flap on and <laughs> it kind of busts out is that a whale is that what that was i'm not exactly sure what's going on there if you know something I don't, drop a comment down below and educate me. Edumacate me, please. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump on this shield that we placed there and get up top so I can get myself some Spectre Specs or 3D goggles, as I like to call them. And look at that. Down below, we've got ourselves some 3D bricks. And they built up into a nice catapult. And we can certainly see that now. We're going to wind it up and ka -chow! We're going to go ahead and bust it over. Look at all that studs. It's raining studs. In fact, there's actually a section coming up. Uh, it's not this level. It's Or is it this level? Maybe it is this level. No, it's another level coming up. Uh, there's one where you save the student in peril. Speaking of which, we're saving the student in peril right now. Uh, it just, you know, it always rains a bunch of studs. I, I'm not sure where those studs come from. Like, if I'm being honest, it looks like it comes from the backside of him. But, uh, that, that's, that's, I guess we can leave that for the imagination. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we need to come back here. So, okay, I've kind of got myself overlapping here. We gotta get, there's three skeletons we have to build. The first one is in this chest. You want to make sure you grab that before you advance, which we're going to use the Deluminator Lamp to do that. Now, I was also saying that there is a student in peril in a future level that just, just unleashes the studdage. And it's like purples and blues like we've never seen before. So hopefully you've got uh, at least a couple of red brick stud multipliers on when that happens. But again, that's a future level. That's like the next. Actually, I think it's the final level. I'm pretty sure it's the final level. Anyhow, uh, we have uh, lightened up the dinner table, and as you can see, the camera angle actually cued us off. As, was that a blue or purple? But uh, we certainly found a hidden stud back there. We picked it up on our way out. Now, my notes say as soon as you get uh, in the new area, just to the left of the tubes, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, snap. It's actually further left than that because there's a skeleton chilling there. We have to shake up the old chest and get them bones in, bones in, skeleton bones. And look at that. He 
dances his little jig there. And we're going to dance, too, because, hey, we got two of the three. The third one is actually going to be just beyond this crazy dragon statue. We actually have to switch to a character with strength. And although I just had Hagrid there, uh, I believe he's a character token that we get in this level. Uh, no, he's not. Uh, it's weird that it allowed me to use him. I guess it probably chose a strong character, but I still haven't, I mean, I've unlocked him in the game, but I haven't purchased him, so it's weird that it would allow me to use him. And anyhow, we go ahead and rip that strong handle down after powering that dragon right in the kissa, and look at that, we found the last chest up in the corner here. We're gonna go ahead and build it back up, let him dance, and of course, pop him too, because he's gonna drop another uh, couple of gold studs, and of course, a bluesy too. Now, uh, yeah, grab the housecrest piece, and then of course, before moving along, you gotta twist in the key or the handle here, and then spin to win, and look at this, it opens up this little music box, and oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say about that. We'll go ahead and let that go away, and hopefully we can just never talk about this again. I mean, I'm just, just being honest. We well, wanna make sure you grab that yellow or Hufflepuff crest piece before bouncing out, but uh, yeah, let's try to put that behind us as quickly as possible. And all right, so uh, we're gonna need Reducto to go ahead and blast away a few pieces on the old scale there. Once we tip the scales, we get the piece needed for the old tube over here. And let's see here, we need to uh, use Leviosa to actually manipulate that upper piece there. Whoopsie, so I gotta go ahead and do that. I'll switch a Rooney and one more time, drop out Crookshanks. Hey there, kitty kitty. Go up and push the button for us. Thank you very much. And now it's gonna open it up. We're gonna knock over this statue. That's right. And look at that. It's going to take us away. So here we are. We're in the uh, this next little fiery section. We're gonna jump across to the far right, and we're gonna need a character with the dark magic ability because there's a cage over here. We need to break it up. And then we we can actually build the pieces up into this really weird object. I'm not even sure what it is. It, it, it flies away. Like what the heck is that? I've I've seen it like ten times, but I still don't know what it is. Uh, again, if you know something I don't, drop a comment down below and let me know what kind of object that is. That was very peculiar. All right, we need Aquamani to put out some of these mini fires, and we're just going to keep on keeping on up the pathway here. Once we get to the far right, a little cinematic scene happens where this dragon comes in and takes out some of our path ahead of us. But that's not important to us quite yet. We actually have a safe back here, and we're going to need our key character. Mrs. Cole, where are you? There you are. All right, we're going to go ahead and spin that key around. And look at that. Before I even had a chance to grab it, Gregory Goyle is now officially ours. So, uh, yeah, we're going to need a character to lift this up. So we'll send Mrs. Cole over. And that's nice. She's over there now, but we're going to have to switch to somebody who can return the favor. All right, so both of our characters are now over here. We actually don't have another collectible in this section, so uh, if you're looking specifically for those collectibles, feel free to use those quick links down below in the video description. That'll help you get to that next one. In fact, I believe it is the... Uh uh, oh, it's the character token for Tom Riddle. So it's going to be about 948, so another minute and a half or so. But, uh, yeah, look at that lion. Roar! He comes in and uh, gives us a whole bunch of studs. Uh, but it looks like he kind of blocked our path up. But we've got a Weasley box, so no worries. We'll go ahead and switch to our favorite Weasley, which I guess we don't really have a favorite. I know there's a trophy achievement for using the Weasley box with every type, or ever, with every type of Weasley, with every Weasley character, so... Uh, so far, I know we've used Arthur, as you can just see there, and we've also used Ron a handful of times. I don't think we've used Jenna um, or Mama Weasley. I can't think of her name right now, but uh, Molly, is it? Yeah, I think it's Molly. All right. All the way at the end, we find this extra tall cabinet. We need to go ahead and give it the old zapperoo. It spins around. and Uh-oh, it's got red on it, so we're going to go have to use Defendu and carve out this weird makeshift. Looks like some sort of a spine or a backbone, but it ends up being a ladder. So if you think about the way the, the Lego hands are, uh, you know, it does kind of make sense. So very, very odd. I, uh, I wouldn't feel comfortable climbing that myself, but I'm not a Lego character, so get up top. We're going to see the, the dragon come swoop on through one more time, and guess what? It actually takes us to the final section of the Room of Requirement, where the collectibles are, that is. So uh, we're going to go ahead and actually take care of this first, uh, I don't know, water tank, I guess we'll call it, and uh, there's a couple things you need to flip around with, Aqu well, excuse me, with Leviosa, and then you need to fill it with Aquamenti. And once you fill it, it should spray away and check off one of the three tokens up top there. You can see, booyah kashow. We're going to go ahead and hop on a broomstick and fly down into the bottom left-hand corner. 
And you might notice there is a box glowing. So we're going to go ahead and shake things up a little bit. What do we find inside? Some buildable bricks that can turn into a bed. Oh, no. Shh, don't tell your parents that I'm telling you to jump on the bed. But uh, in order to get this character token, you're actually going to have to get your boing on. So, hey, uh, do it quick. Do it silently. And don't rat me out if you get in trouble. All right? That, that'd go, that goes for you parents out there, too. If your significant other finds you bouncing on the bed, I don't want HTG Brian to be your reasoning for it. You know what I'm saying? So... Anyhow, uh, fly over on the broomstick to the bottom right-hand corner, and you should find another little uh, column or platform you can jump onto. This one actually has an item that needs repair, so switch to Arthur Weasley, who has a wrench that can get her done for us. And <laughs> I'm not sure why the uh, thing jumped off the ledge there. It must not have wanted to exist any longer. It uh, must not have been able to take the heat, because it's uh, certainly hot around here. But All right, we're going to go ahead and look at this. We're building up the pieces into a pan. Panda bear? That's a little odd. I have no idea why there would be a panda bear in Harry Potter. Like, I can't for the life of me think of any connection whatsoever. I don't know if that's an Easter egg for something else. I know that we've seen a uh, Kung Fu Panda Easter egg in Lego Dimensions, but I don't think that it's ever going to amount to anything. And it hasn't even really been 100% verified that that's what it is. We did a video for it at one point a while back, and, you know, nobody really had any insight. There was a few of you that thought, no way, that has nothing to do with Kung Fu Panda, and everyone else was like, duh, KFP, Panda, duh. But, you know, I, we never really got any verification. There certainly hasn't been any signs of any Kung Fu Panda Lego games. However, Lego, or not Lego, Disney Infinity was kind of the competition, and they had the rights, and I believe there was some Kung Fu Panda stuff in that. And that has officially been canceled. So, you know, fingers crossed. There might be some Kung Fu Panda stuff ahead of our, in our Lego Dimensions future. Or in a standalone sense, too. I mean, there's been enough Kung Fu Panda movies that they could make a full game out of it, right? I mean, it's pretty popular. Not one of my favorites. But I gotta, you gotta love Jack Black. And it's good. It's good. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't figured it out, I'm just uh, flapping my yapper, talking away about uh, stuff not related to this video. But we're just completing the story elements, assuming you have already done this. This one I really struggle with because it does not pop up the icon to hop on that plane. I had no idea I had to hop on that in the story mode, so I struggled big time. I, I think I had to make an edit because I was wandering around for like five minutes going, what do I do? But I finally figured it out. And I remembered when I came back for free play, so that was nice. But uh, we're really just uh, checking off the other two water tanks check marks up top. This one does require quite a few movements of Leviosa. You have to bust open a bunch of boxes. And, uh, you know, of course, we have to ride that airplane, too. Now we're uh, putting the final touches here. we got to connect to the dots. La, la, la. And fill it up. That's right. Once we get her all the way done, it's actually going to... Oh, that's right. I forgot about my kamikaze mission to get that bluesy. And I don't know if it paid off either, because I think I lost a blue for falling. Anyhow, we got all four of the house crest pieces, and we are officially one step closer to reaching that 100% and actually having free play completed. We got all three of the character tokens, and uh, we're going to prove that to you right here. I don't know if you have a favorite token or not that we've picked up along the way, but one of my favorites is coming up just because he's such a uh, well, memorable character in the Harry Potter series, and we don't have them yet. So, uh, yeah, look at that. We got an 11.5 mil ski. We got enough to, uh, I don't know, I don't know what that's going to buy us as far as character tokens go, and red bricks. We still got some red bricks ahead of us. And, hey, we did turn that frown upside down by rescuing that student in peril. We're going to go ahead and add three more gold bricks to our pile, and all right, that feels good. We're over the halfway point on the gold bricks. Our percentage for the game at this point is like 47.3 or something like that. Uh, we get to the halfway point right after completing level 24. So, spoiler alert, but that's going to be a bonus trophy achievement for that level coming up. So, anyhow, if you guys have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear back from you. And, of course, uh, you can do that by heading over to Facebook. Twitter, or simply commenting down below. Any of you who have gone to those three platforms have found that we are pretty good about getting back to you as long as you say something other than hi, which even if you do just write hi, I usually respond to that as well. So uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and keep things rolling. I got two more videos all edited up, ready for audio, so I hope to get those out to you soon. Well, at least sooner than later. All right, as for me, that's going to do it for now. As always, until next time... Hi.